welcome back to my channel in this video i'm just doing another all acrylic set of nails for you guys um sorry about my last video the voiceover was a bit wrong on it because i'd edited it wrong so i'll make sure it doesn't happen in this video here is all the products that i'm using now some of them i decide against using and some of them i do use so they're all glitter bells i think i don't use any other product on this na these nails so that lavender shimmer, I love that lavender shimmer. I love them. Yep, that one. And of course, I always use my glass slippers to encapsulate. And I'm using my glitter bowels brush number 10. And it's the glitter one. So guys, I did, I did forget to press record on that one nail. But I do do all the other nails on camera. So we're going with the next nail. So here I'm just doing a marble and as you can see I'm just using it wet and I'm just dragging it all the way through and just once I'm happy with it I leave it. So because if you're going dry you're not going to get the perfect marble. Marble needs to be quite wet so work very wet and just put another colour on and just marble them together. Now don't play with it too much. You can't go wrong with marbling there's no wrong marble way but just try not to play with it because the more you play with it the more it will lose its marble so here I'm just using I think it's Barbie candy and lavender shimmer which oh and I'm using white as well sorry guys and it absolutely goes lovely together this Barbie candy and lavender shimmer I absolutely love them together so I do this all the way up the nail and then I do go in with some glitter and I think I use bubblegum or Victoria, one of them too. I think it is bubblegum. And then I do go in and put a bit of Victoria right over it. So the one I'm placing down now is actually bubblegum and I did go over with Victoria which is on there now. Yes that's Victoria because you can see the bits. No guys actually I think I used bubblegum and then I used my flakes from Nails and um, Nails by Annabelle Glitter Bow so I used my flakes on this. So I went over the bubblegum with my flakes. So going in and doing the next nail now guys, on the next nail I'm using my Barbie candy again and I'm putting that on the bottom because I think I'm just doing a full nail on this one of Barbie candy because this is the nail that's going to have the 3D on it. So as I've said in all my videos, when you're using acrylic colours, you want to use them like you're painting because you don't want it too thick because you've got to put glass slippers over that, a clear coat over it. So once you're encapsulating it, that's when you build your arch. Now, if anybody would like me to do a video on how I build my arches, please comment below and I will get one sorted out for you. So here I'm just going in and I'm doing an ombre. So first off I'm putting the Barbie candy at the tip of the nail. And I'm working wet again as I just said with all colours I do work quite wet. So I'm just making sure that that's covered. And next I go in with lavender shimmer. And then I just try and like make sure it's ombre. -ed. So but I'm not worried too much about the ombre because I'm actually going in with some glitter as well. So... I don't need the ombre to be 100% but I still want it to look good. So guys, next I go in and I encapsulate all of the nails.
So guys, after I've encapsulated all of the nails and I have foiled them off camera, I do foil off camera because I do always end up knocking my camera. So next I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a rose and I'm using the Marble Effect Acrylic Powder from Nao Nails. Now this gives it like a two-tone effect so it saves you double dipping. So I'm going in and I'm getting a bead and I'm going to put the bead by where the cuticle area would be. So I'm just patting it out to the shape I want it before I go in and I'll put, turn it the other way around and just press down on it. So another tip guys, also when you're doing 3D work, always use light pressure. You don't have to use too much pressure. Now, if you're doing it on a mat base, then not too much pressure, you can normally tell. But when you're doing it on a shiny base, it does tend to move around more. So my advice would be just go slowly if you're doing it on a shiny base rather than a matte base. So I'm just going and doing exactly the same again guys and I do this all the way around. You've heard me explain before so if anybody would like a video where I do explain it I will leave it in the info box above and also in the description box so you can go out and check an older video I have done explaining this.
So guys, once all the flower is finally done, I do go in and I do some leaves. Now with the leaves, you want to get a ball of acrylic, place it down on the nail. Now while it's still wet, you want to drag the acrylic into a tip. Now wait for it to go mat and then you pat it out as you go along. Now I didn't wait for it to go mat because I'm used to working to it like that. I try and dry it as much as I can. Now if you try and do the tip while the acrylic is drying you stand no chance so you need to do the tip of the feather, I mean the feather, the leaf <laughs> while it's still wet and then I'll just paint out as I would do if I'm doing a petal to a flower and then I'll just use some cuticle things to make the leaf look more realistic. Now as you can see there I did not like the leaf so I got rid of it. So I've gone in again and I've done exactly the same again. I have made sure that I do that tip when it's wet. So guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And follow me on all my social media. And the most important thing guys, don't forget is don't let anybody do your sparkle. I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.